So what does it take to be a successful tech evangelist? I actually hate the word evangelist. Typically when I think about evangelism is someone believes something so deeply and sometimes even blind by it. And they talk almost religiously about that technology in order to convert people to a similar set of beliefs. And honestly, it's very effective to anything, marketing, advertising, and to open source projects uh, that people may want to use. I like the term advocacy a little bit better. It flips it around. As an advocate, you're trying to make sure that the technology works for the person on the other side of the keyboard, the, the user or the community. And so when that product or technology falls short, as an advocate, you try to fill in the gap between those two things. So you'll commonly hear me talk about Kubernetes in terms of its gaps or its shortcomings or where it shouldn't be used. Sometimes I'll say you haven't mastered a technology until you know when it shouldn't be used. And I think advocates owe themselves the responsibility to know when it's the right tool. And when I think about evangelism to be successful, you need to really believe in the thing you're telling people about. Because depending on the passion you bring to the conversation, they may or may not believe you. And that's a big component of uh, evangelism. But I think for advocacy, you can borrow some of those things. And I do think I work really hard to make sure that I'm convinced first. And the way I do it is by building real things on top of Kubernetes with my own hands. And then when I go out to the world and say, here's how I solved a very specific problem using this particular tool. And then it feels less about evangelism and it feels more like advocacy. So I think you just gotta bring a bit of authenticity to it. And I think that's what separates those two.